Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing my Sephora VIB event haul and I know you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for me to do this haul with you guys. It is finally time for me to show you guys all the products that I got during this event. So as most of you guys know, Sephora is currently having their VIB event this weekend. It actually started last weekend and if you're Rouge, you get to shop twice. So last weekend and as well as this weekend, you will get 20% off. And also if you are a VIB or a beauty insider, you do get a certain percentage off as well. But I really don't want to spend too much time on this intro because I have a lot of products to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB event then let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright so before we jump into this box of goodies I do want to say a huge thank you to Top Cashback for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Top Cashback is it is a cashback app. So if you like to shop online at Sephora, Ulta or any other type of retailer they have over 4,000 different retailers on this app and you get cash back every time you shop. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys what the app looks like. Um, it is free so you can download it really easily on your phone so here it is right here i'm just going to go ahead and click it and this is what it looks like when you open it up so you have well you guys i don't know if you guys can see it at the top but i have sephora and ulta because these are my most used website and then once you find whichever one that you want you just click on so i'm just going to click on sephora and this right here pops up and you just click the red button it says get cash back once you do that, it's going to take you straight to the Sephora website. And this is what it looks like pulled up once Sephora comes up. So it's just the regular Sephora website. You just want to make sure that every time you shop, you go through top cash back. So that way you get cash back every time you make a purchase. And right now, Sephora is offering 5% cash back, which is awesome because a lot of other cash back apps, like they usually lower the percentage every time Sephora has an event coming up. So that's what I like about top cash back is they never lower the percentage of money back that you get, which is awesome. So if you guys are interested in checking out this app, I will have it linked down below. And also, if you purchase anything over $30 between now and December 2nd, you'll get a $10 bonus, which is awesome. So I will have all of the information down below in my description if you guys are interested in checking out this app. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into all of the products that I got. So I purchased things online as well as in store. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got in store first. So I have my little bag right here. All right. So the very first thing that I picked up was something I definitely didn't need. Well, honestly, anything that I share in this video are things that that I don't need but I wanted to grab this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because for one I have not used this in a while um, and I don't have any more of it and I wanted to kind of bring it back in my collection and another reason is because this is a limited edition packaging so this is their holiday collection and look how cute that is but it just has a rose gold top and it's super cute super cute so I wanted to get another one because like I said, I haven't used this in a while and of course the packaging was cute. So got that. And I also picked up another moisturizer by one of my favorite brands from Sephora, which is the brand Caress. I realized I've been saying this name wrong for the longest and one of my subscribers corrected me on it. I think she said it's pronounced Caress. I believe um, but yeah I got the wild rose vitamin C brightening moisturizer and I got the day one they do have a day and a night I figured I get the day one because I like to use this under my makeup a lot so I went ahead and picked up another one of these and I also grabbed a little set by Caress so they have the wild rose vitamin C brightening sleeping facial and it also has the wild rose vitamin C brightening oil which you guys know I rave about a lot so I wanted to get this because of the oil for one and also I wanted to try out the sleeping facial I don't think I've tried that before so I thought this was a good little um, a little set to get and this was only $24 plus the 20% off which was good so this next product I want to show you guys is actually a product that one of my followers mentioned or um, recommended to me on Twitter by the way if you guys are not following me on Twitter I'm gonna have my Twitter link down well my Twitter uh, my Twitter handle right here on the screen but um, she suggested this product this is by Ole Henrys Ugh, I can never say this but it is um, the truth serum so she mentioned that she got the larger size and I didn't want to get the larger size yet because I actually wanted to just try this out first um, but they do have a new I think it's like a limited edition haul 
holiday um, large size um, serum but I wanted to try this one out first just to see if I you know like it and I actually hear a lot of people talk about this serum this is actually a good size I thought it was gonna be smaller but this is actually a good size okay yeah, so let me know if you guys have tried this out. Um, I would love to know, you know, if it's good on your skin. I would love to know your thoughts and stuff. So that is what I got because one of my followers suggested it to me. And I also picked up the Farsali. Now, I didn't get this during the event. I actually got this before. I just haven't shared this on my channel yet. But this is the Farsali Skin Tune Blurring Primer. And I cannot wait to try this out. I've had this in my bag for a while i just have not pulled it out shared it or tried it yet i'm actually going to be trying this out really really soon because i do want to do a full face using new products and this is actually going to be one of the products that i use so i cannot wait and i also picked up some more of these little um razors what are they called the japanese steel blades so these are what i use for my brows i never go and get my brows done like at nail salons or anything or you know to get them threaded or anything i do them myself so these are the little blades that i use i usually get these from like walmart or target but i saw these in sephora and they were actually cheaper in sephora than the ones that i usually get from the drugstore which was crazy plus it was 20% off of the original price so I got this at a good deal so I just wanted to get these because the ones that I have are pretty much dull and I needed some more and I saw these and I just put them in the bag and I also finally grabbed the Too Faced um, peach lip balm I've been wanting to try this out for a while um, I thought they were actually gonna send it to me in PR but I never received it so I just went ahead and grabbed it myself and I just wanted this really bad so I got it and I've actually already used it so you guys can see that there is a little nail dent right there and I like it. I really, really like how this feels on my lips. It's very hydrating. It smells so good. <sighs> it smells so good, but I've been wanting to try this ever since they came out with it and I finally got my hands on it. Every time I would go in Sephora, it would be sold out and surprisingly they had two left on the shelf. So I grabbed this and I am so glad that I did because it is good. So I finally, finally, finally got my hands on the Cover FX Concealer. I don't know why I'm so late with getting this honestly but i picked up the shade gd3 and when i was swatching them in the store this one was the one that actually looked the best on my skin tone as a concealer shade and even though um it could be a good like under eye brightener it's also not that bad as a spot like if i wanted to just spot conceal like the color is actually not that bad like it's not too light it's not too dark it's actually perfect like can you guys see that it's perfect so it blends in perfectly with my skin but at the same time I feel like this is gonna be like that perfect shade to kind of brighten up my under eyes to where it's not like too too bright so I am ooh, that looks so like that looks perfect perfect yes I cannot wait to try this out like that feels oh. and I also grabbed another one of these Sephora gel lip liners now I picked up another one online which is actually a backup because the one that I had I lost it and that was in the shade hot sauce so I will show you guys that one in a few minutes once we get into the products that I purchased online but I was swatching more of the shades in person and I fell in love with this shade it's called what is it called wild at heart and it is so so pretty let me open it i hate that they put these stupid freaking plastic on this little bitty pencil oh and let me just say some of these lip pencils like don't don't just look at the packaging of them and think that's the color that you're gonna get because they have this really really light um, nude looking um, pencil like it's kind of like a taupe nude but once I swatched it on my hand it was more of an orangey terracotta color I forgot the shade name but definitely swatch these in person before just thinking that the packaging of them is the actual color this one is a really 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 pretty plum um, it's so pretty you guys I'm gonna do a big swatch so you guys can see it but this is going to be the perfect 
all over lip color or if I just want to wear like a really pretty berry lipstick or a liquid lipstick this is going to be the perfect shade to use as um, a lip liner do you guys see that concealer right there like it literally went perfectly with my skin like look at that I don't know this may be just a good one to use as a spot conceal like the shade instead of just using it for my under eye to kind of brighten them up I may need to go up a shade or down a shade for that I don't know but that color the lip liner is gorgeous again this is in the shade wild at heart okay the last product that I got out of the store was actually a palette that I said I was not gonna get but then I was starting to look at other people's Sephora recommendations videos and I was looking at um, who was I looking at let me let me find her she actually just uploaded a video earlier this morning uh, what was her name oh there it is Jamie page so I was looking at her recommendations videos and she mentioned this palette she showed swatches of the palette and I was like let me just get it and the one I'm talking about is by Natasha Denona and I know I know I know I know I said I was not gonna purchase any more of her palettes because they are a little bit too pricey but when I saw her swatch these shades on her arm, and I know that Jamie is not my skin tone, obviously, but when she swatched these on her arm, I had to. And the fact that this is an all matte eyeshadow palette, I just wanted to get another, you know, all matte palette in my collection. And I think this will be like a good, you know, a good one to have because these shades in here are phenomenal. This is the Safari palette, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. But, girl, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. So this is what the front of the palette looks like. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already seen this palette. I'm sure you've seen reviews, all of that good stuff. But if you have not, this is what the palette looks like. Super pretty. Ooh, this is so pretty, y'all. Like, this is gorgeous. And then you open it up and you have this really nice size mirror, which is really nice. And then all of these gorgeous matte shades. How freaking pretty is this? Can it focus, please? Can you just focus? Just focus. So freaking pretty, like that blue, that orange, those purples at the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch a few because I just want you guys to see like the pigmentation in these shades are intense, intense. Like, I just want you guys to see what I'm seeing. Like this is gorgeous oh my gosh y'all i can't like i cannot can not y'all all right so those were all of my in-store purchases now let's go ahead and go into my online purchases and i did get all of this through top cash back remember if you shop through that app you get cash back every time so the first thing i grabbed was this super cute gloss set by Becca Cosmetics and I actually have three of their lip glosses Is it actually are they the same shade no they're totally different shades but I did share those glosses in the Sephora recommendations video by the way in that video a lot of you were saying down in the comments that you could not find those glosses on Sephora and I made a mistake and mentioned that they are sold at Sephora but they're not they're actually at Ulta and I do have the link where you can get them at Ulta in that video down below in the description but I do apologize for making that mistake in that video but they do still have these little glosses at Sephora if you are interested in getting this little cute gloss set this will make a really cute stocking stuffer even though well the packaging may be a little bit too big for a stocking maybe not because some of these stockings that they're making now like they're huge so this will be a really nice cute little stocking stuffer if you guys are wanting to shop for gifts but let me open it so y'all can see these Ugh, they're so cute but here they are so you guys won't see that glare but these are the shades how cute are these Okay, I'm actually gonna swatch all of them so y'all can see them really quick. But there they are right there. Swatched 
But yeah, I think this will be a really cute like little gift set if you guys want to give um, somebody like a cute stocking stuffer. This will be really cute to put in their stocking. So I stocked up on my Sephora Micro Smooth Bake Face Compacts because y'all know this is my holy grail face powder. So I had to get three more because I run out of this like crazy because I use it every single day pretty much. Um, but yeah, I have the shade Deep Ebony. Online it says Deep Ebony, but on the back of the packaging it does say Deep. I had some of you um, bring that to my attention, but it also says Deep Ebony on the back as well. It's just really, really tiny. But you see the, um, the word Deep in the middle because it's written in bold. It says Deep. But it's the same shade as Deep Ebony online. So I got three because... I had to get more. So Artist Couture just came out with new press highlighters and I had to, I just had to get this because it is so pretty. I saw this in the store, but I didn't get it inside the store. I just went ahead and got it online. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Oh my gosh. I got the shade, what shade is it? Honey Dip. And when I say, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Like the packaging itself is gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a close up. Look at that. I also swatched it in the store and when I swatched it, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Because I had already purchased it online. But y'all, let me just show you this highlighter look. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's like a gold um, rose gold slash gold highlighter. It's more gold, but it actually looks like a mixture of rose gold and gold like it's not a true gold highlighter it's so pretty and the texture is so soft like it feels like butter i just had to dip my finger in it again but just look at that look at that so this other set that i grabbed from um caress this is actually a set that i have never tried like all of these products in this set I've never tried out. So I wanted to try this out and see if I liked it. So this is the Skin Balancing Beauty Set. And it comes with the Pomegranate Balancing Cream, which is actually a gel moisturizer, which I am super excited. Y'all know I love a moisturizer. It also comes with a pomegranate toner, this right here in the middle. And it also has a um, resurfacing mask right here. I'm actually gonna open it up so I can see what they actually look like because I don't think I've seen these in the store. I probably have, I just overlooked it. But when I saw that this little set came with, you know, products that I think I would like. Oh, okay. So here it is right here. So this is the moisturizer. Ooh, and it's actually a full size. I did not know I was gonna get a full size. Yes. The toner looks like it's a full size as well, but this right here, which is the um, resurfacing mask, this is a little mini size, but I cannot wait to try this out. I'm actually gonna put this in my everyday makeup sash for the month of November. So I will be letting you guys know my thoughts on these products next month or at the end of this month when I do my favorites and hate it's, which by the way, I need to do my favorites and hate it's for October. While we're on the subject of skincare, I picked up another Tata Harper cleanser. And when I first tried this out, I was blown away. So this is the clarifying cleanser and this is for blemished prone skin. The reason why I picked up another one is because this actually, like it worked on my skin this kept my breakouts away I don't know what like I honestly don't know how because as many products as I used or tried out it's kind of hard to keep my breakouts away especially during that time of the month but when I was using this this like this was really good it kept those breakouts away and I was super duper impressed by this cleanser so I felt like it was only right for me to grab another one since I ran through the first one that I had and I should have just grabbed some other products from this brand. Like they have moisturizers, they have toners, they have serums. I don't know why I did not grab anything else, but I wanted to get the cleanser because I knew how it worked on my skin. I knew that it worked for me and I had to get another one because I mean, 20% off and this is not a cheap cleanser. Like this is a little bit pricey, a little bit too pricey for my liking for a cleanser, but it works like wonders on my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and open it so y'all can see it. And this has like a really minty, like it's kind of like a minty 
cooling sensation on the skin which is really nice it feels really good but this is what the packaging looks like it does come in a glass bottle and y'all i just had to get another one so i picked up two more of these lily lashes i tried these out um it was when did i try these it was actually in the video where i was doing my get ready with me with yanni rose here on youtube so she and i did a collab and in that video this was actually my first time um wearing these lashes and i loved them so i picked up two more and these are in the style um mykonos i think i said it right but yeah so i grabbed two because i love them so much and i also grabbed two more of the hourglass caution mascara so i grabbed two more of these because these have become my favorite like high-end mascara so i wanted to get two more all right so i grabbed another new primer which i need to just stop with all of these primers i don't know what it is about me lately but i have been wanting to try primers and primers and primers so i ended up grabbing another primer and this is by touch and soul this is the no pore what is it the no pore blum primer and the reason why i grabbed this is because of tiffany and if you guys are not familiar with tiffany i'm actually gonna have her channel down below in my description but girl when i say i first off i am obsessed with her channel she keeps it real like she is not gonna sugarcoat anything and she mentioned i think she mentioned this product in a haul or was it a recommendations video i forgot which one it was but i was like okay you like it i love it let me go ahead and get it so i went ahead and picked it up during the sephora event and this is going to be another product that i want to share or not share but um use this month so I will be throwing this inside my everyday makeup stash for the month of November. So I will make sure to let you guys know my thoughts on this primer. And as I mentioned earlier, I went ahead and grabbed another um, gel lip liner. This is in the shade Hot Sauce. This is the one that I lost. So I went ahead and got a backup because this is my everyday lip liner color. Like this is so pretty. You know what? I'm not even going to struggle with this little plastic on here but um i do have a video swatching this i'm actually going to try to find that video and link it down below but this is just a pretty your lips but better color is so pretty on the lips so i had to grab another one and i also picked up a smashbox liquid lipstick this is actually the very first um liquid lipstick that i've tried from smashbox now i haven't tried it yet but the reason why i got this is because of jacqueline hill she did post a haul on her channel it was recently it was about i think two weeks ago and she mentioned how she loved these liquid lipsticks like the formula is bomb and i don't think this is the same shade that she had but i grabbed this one because i felt like this shade would complement my skin tone this is in the shade does it even say on here yeah deep thoughts and this is a really gorgeous brown slash i'm just gonna say brown because it is a brown color um it actually looks more like a mauvey shade but it's a pretty nude like that's the perfect nude for my skin tone look how pretty that is but Jacqueline was saying this is like one of the best liquid lipstick formulas and I was like okay let me try this out for myself so I grabbed this one and we will be trying this out this month and the very last thing that I picked up is the Laura Mercier translucent glow powder I know I know I know a lot of you were asking me my opinions on this product and I never found the time or never found the time to pick it up so I finally got it and I got the shade medium deep so I will be using this or trying this out this month but I cannot wait to try this out since a lot of you were asking me my thoughts on this product so we're gonna be trying this out and you guys will know my thoughts finally all right you guys so that is everything that I picked up during the Sephora VIB event I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if there was anything that I shared in this video that you have already tried out let me know your thoughts on the products. Let me know if you like the product. Let me know if you don't like the product. So let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments. And also don't forget to check out Top Cashback if you guys are wanting to get cashback every time you shop online. I will have that information down below in my description. But yeah, I think that is all that I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.